Well, certainly these aren't the circumstances that I wanted to be talking to Stefan Wilson today in, but I will say this, I'm glad to see you standing and uh, you're pretty chipper today. I mean, it's a tough day today. I mean, let's describe the emotions right off the bat. I mean, how are you feeling this morning? Yeah, I'm feeling like I'm uh, high on oxy right now. So, you know, I think it's chipper. I, I'm chipper because of that. But, you know, it, it's really painful. You know, it's been a really painful week. You know, to, to earn your spot in the 500 and all the, all the hard work uh, that we put in over the last year and then to see it just get taken out and taken away uh, just hurts, you know, and the injury itself hurts a lot as well. And um, it's going to be a painful process of recovery, but, you know, I'm not shy of putting in the hard work and, and it uh, will get through that recovery phase and, and, and that's about a three-month process. And uh, I'm determined to come back here next year. And I think that the nice thing is we, we built momentum this month. And I think I showed that I belong to be in this series and be in this race. And uh, next year, we'll get to hopefully have another opportunity to do that again. It must take incredible strength. I mean, we know, we know because we've been there, the whole process of, of putting this team together, we covered it at the beginning. Yeah. But to be here this morning, really, I think it shows the strength and the character of you to be here and support the team. Yeah, I, like that was my goal is, I mean, on Monday when the incident happened, um, I kind of knew there was something wrong. You know, I'd obviously seen Justin have his back injury at Mid-Ohio and when I felt the pain in, the, in my back, I was like, pretty sure that's what that is. And I just tried to deny it, you know, typical stubborn race car driver. I'm like, no, no, because if I admit it, then that makes it real and that means that I can't race on Sunday. And um, try to try to bluff my way out of the medical center and uh, I actually was walking like, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. And uh, like, nope, no, you're going to the Methodist to get a, an x-ray done. And obviously the x-ray turned out and showed that uh, we had a fracture to T12, and that was pretty. That was that was a blow, you know. That was pretty heartbreaking to receive that news. It took me a while to process it, and um, you know, it sort of morphed into just focusing now on the future and focusing on 2024. And at the time, it was like, okay, it'd be nice if I could get strong enough and recover enough to be out there on Sunday, just to support the team. The, the Dry and Rainbow Keys of Motorsports 24 crew. I've just done an incredible job for me all month, all year, you know, to prepare the car. They've done an incredible job for Graham to prepare the backup car. And um, I knew that it means a lot. Uh, it'd mean a lot to them if I could make it out here. And it certainly did. You could see it sort of lifted their spirits. They were, they were relieved to see me. And um, I was, it was nice to, to see them as well. Well, I think everyone's relieved to see you, and certainly the viewers at home are going to be. I, I guess I'll ask you, because you had a front row seat to it, unfortunately. What exactly happened in the accident? Because it was definitely a checkup, but I haven't really heard a, a, why, a why or how. Or Did you even see it coming? Yeah, I mean, in my opinion, it wasn't really a checkup. It was a very standard racing uh, sort of situation where, you know, I'm, I'm following Santino down the front straight. Santino's making a pass on Devlin. And in that situation, the guy that's being passed has to obviously fade off the throttle and, and blend in. And, um, you know, I took the necessary actions to keep the gap to them. Um, you know, so yeah, there was a, a small checkup, but it's kind of standard. It's, it's just normal in racing situations. So I have no idea what happened. I, I, all I know is I went into turn one. I was already thinking about the exit of one, exit of turn two, and getting a run on Devlin. We're almost at the exit of the corner, and then my spotter is saying shit. And at that point, I was like, I'm in danger. So at that point, obviously uh, felt the contact. It was a pretty, pretty big hit, and then spun me around into the wall. And, you know, I, I had no idea what happened, you know. When you're that late in the corner, you just don't expect it. So I'm like, what? Did someone spin off the warm up lane, or was there a crash behind that sent someone inside? You know, I, I've seen the replay, and it, it's, um, yeah, it's just obviously disappointing. Let's talk about perhaps a bit of an optimistic take. I mean, I think you and I both know how good this car is, and even if you're not in the cockpit, Graham Ray Hall is. What are your what is your assessment of what this car can do in this race today? I think it can run really well. You know, I think Graham's a, obviously a great driver. 
the team's done a great job with the car, and I, I think they've got to set modest goals, but I wouldn't be surprised if they ended up in the top 15, top 10, honestly. You know, I felt really happy with the car on, on Monday. We didn't have Santino's car. I, I was following him, and I'm like, he looks really strong, so I guess he'd be my pick today. Um, you know, but... Uh, yeah, I think that Graham still got a good shot, and um, a top 10 would be, uh, you know, a great result for the whole career, and that's what they deserve, honestly, for the amount of work and effort they put in. Well, the most important thing is that Stefan Wilson is here standing with us today. And I just, I just oh, yeah. want to say thanks to all the fans as well. Yes. Like, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I do this one race a year. I don't expect to get any, to pe for people to know my name, and we're driving in the garage area this morning, and... The amount of support for me has, has been truly um, overwhelming, and I'm just so uh, so grateful for it. You know, seeing the the banner that's got signed by everyone that means a lot, and all the social media posts. In hospital, I read all of them, and I had the time to read all of them, and um, I appreciate it. So thank you to all the fans. Well, I'll tell you what, Steph. You know, we we were here when this started for 2023, and I'm going to hold you to that three months. We're going to be back at Thermal when you announce the 2024 program. You know, we'll be there every step of the way. Absolutely, absolutely. Let's do it. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much, uh, Stephen Wilson. Thanks, David.